thank you for everything you do. I just recently found your channel and read Rose's book. So I have a simple question. I'm 32, 31 years old. Okay. I'm about to get married, living with a girl for four years. I just have this gut feeling that it's something is not okay. So my question is when a guy decides to marry, because I want to assist in family, is it okay about having some hesitation or I have to be 100% sure that there are no red flags and et cetera? What's your opinion on this? Well, Thank you very much. For, let, let's, let's get, let, wait, hold on. Let, let's yeah, get what sort of hesitation? Like what are the red flags? Yeah, there you go, exactly. Like what are you seeing and hearing? So it's... for example, for example, my financial condition is much better than hers. Oh, my family is richer than hers. My career perspectives are much better. Also, I'm constantly checking out from other girls. I don't know if this is normal or not. And some, she wants to go constantly to, to her family to to spend a lot of time with with her with her family. So I'm not very okay with this because we live in Europe, and the distance is not very small. Traveling between the cities. How old is she? She's 29. That's the other problem that she's reaching her, uh, she's hitting the law soon. So yeah, I feel like I'm losing her time. Yep. So why um, I call her, do you want to have kids? Yes, I want. I'm not sure. Okay. Moment, but I want, yes. Hang on a sec. You said yes, and then you said, I'm not sure. Is it yes or I'm not sure? Uh, I'm sure, but uh, I'm not sure is the correct moment now. Yeah. Okay. So, so then the answer is no, because you don't get married until you're sure. If if you're basically vetting for wife stock, which is what you're saying to raise children, and you're not sure about having kids, you don't get married. Okay. Uh, I I talk to a lot of guys that I coach that say, you know, like I wasn't sure when I got married, and then they end up like accidentally slipping and falling and getting pregnant, and then you know, three years later they wonder what the hell they're doing and how they're ever going to see their kid again. Um, like you can't sleepwalk through life. If you if you sleepwalk through life, not making awake decisions and thinking, well, I'm not sure if I want to have kids or if I want to get married. I'm unsure about the check. The answer is no. If it's not a hell yeah, it's a fuck no. Listen, I agree with Richard. And here's the oh, thing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if a man gets down on one knee and proposes to a woman and she says, I don't know, the general consensus is, is if you don't know, you know. If you're not 100% certain that, you, listen, you know you want to get married and you know you want to have kids, but you're hesitant with this girl. It sounds, to, it sounds to me like you're viewing her through the lens of the 24-year-old you met four years ago or 25-year-old you met you met four years ago. Yes. Now, yes. Exactly. Now, I don't know, 24, 25 years old. Yeah, maybe she was, at that point, maybe she was wife material. Dude, she's about to be 30. Dude, do you really, and you're, you're, dude, you're only 32. Do you really want to have kids with a woman who's pushing 30? She's going to push the kid out at 30, 30, 31 years old. Yeah, you're exactly. only 32. Exactly. You are clearly in a better financial uh, position than she is, which isn't, which really isn't bad. But let's keep it real here. This is one of the reasons she's with you. Do you really want to put yourself in that position? Like, play this forward. What is your? What do you think your life is going to be like three years from now? Are you going to regret this decision, or do you think that you're going to be happy? I feel I'm going to regret it, but what to do? I mean, in this case, how do you break up? I, I have no any no argument. Well, I break with you because I don't know why. How do you break up in this situation? Where do you live in Europe, by the way? You're in Eastern Europe. You sound like he's from Ukraine, or yes, in Eastern. Yes. Okay, and what does family law look like where you live? Like, is it assumed 50-50 custody? Like, how do they operate where you live? 50-50, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so I've talked to guys in your region, and it's a lot easier for guys to get divorced there. So, I mean, the risk is a little bit lower if it doesn't work out, but it doesn't change the fact that you're not sure that that it's not a hell yes. I mean, marriage is not one of those things that you just kind of fucking sleepwalk into. It's like, oh, all of a sudden I'm married one day. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, the right woman can make your life better or your or the wrong woman can make it fucking worse. The problem is, is most guys go the wrong woman route, right? Because they're not properly vetting. Um, Sean Stevenson, uh, not Sean Stevenson, uh, Sean Smith's book, uh, Tactical Guide to Women, you should read that. I mean, you should have a clear understanding of if this person is something that you can be with on a long-term basis and they tick off all the boxes, or by the end of the book, you might find out that there's more red flags than a Chinese communist parade and you need to say, see you later. And how do you break up with her? Just break up with her. Just fucking stand up, grab your balls, lift up your skirt, and be a man and say, we're fucking done here. Listen, it's run its course. This Listen, that's what this is about. Listen, this guy's already got his mind made up. But I think what you're trying to reconcile is the fact, and don't listen, don't get it twisted. 
it, this is going to be a difficult, this isn't a difficult decision. The execution is going to be difficult because what's going through your mind, you're like, okay, I know I don't want to marry this girl, but you're telling us you're not sure. No, no, you're sure. You made, you made this decision a long time ago, exactly. but here's right. But here's exactly. what you need exactly. to understand as listen, this you're 32 years old. This is your come to Jesus moment, man. This is the fork in the road. You're going to have to understand that the, that, that the, the right decisions or the right thing to do in life is often synonymous with the most difficult. No, it's not going to be easy to dump your living girlfriend you've been with for the last four years. But guess what, dude? If you don't yeah. do it five, ten years from now, you're going to wish that you did. So I'll add, I'll add this to it, too. The reason you seem to be hooked on looking for a reason is because you don't want to take responsibility for a hard decision. Oh, there it is. There it is. You got, you're going to have to be the bad guy. There's just no way around it, and that's fine. I was gonna, I was also going to say is like this woman is obvious clearly in her epiphany phase and I don't know how the socioeconomic situation goes where you're at but uh, I do know that women all over the world um, pretty much follow a a predictable plan when it comes to you know their lives and hypergamy and everything else and this woman is in what I call her epiphany phase so she's looking for you know looking to cash out uh, before you know she gets to a point where she can no longer attract or you know or be uh, intra or intra sexually comp competitive anymore uh, the, the other thing is I think that you another thing you're gonna have to deal with is if you decide that you're gonna break up with her what is going to proceed next is she's going to say you're not a man she's right. going to try to to remove your manhood from you and say well you know you're not you need a man up or you need to step up or you know you're, you're not getting any younger um what she real what she doesn't realize is that you're you're at least if you're calling here you got to be red pill aware to some degree and you know that your your best years you haven't even hit your stride yet if you think about it I mean, your, your peak years are still probably like within the next four years you'll you will be hitting your stride and uh you will have more sexual selection uh the older you get um i mean even if you if he has a huffington poe you can go all the way to 50 but i don't believe that uh, but just understand that the the next attack she's going to throw at you is she's going to say uh, she's going to question your manhood and she's going to say you're too insecure uh, if you do break up with her. Just but just understand that that's coming because that's the most common response you'll get from women in their epiphany phase. Listen, she is not. Listen, she's not going to take this well. OK, uh, listen, understand, just like just like Ryan said, dude, you're going to have to be the bad guy. When LeBron James went from and you probably aren't aware of this. Uh, <laughs> But when, this brand well, well, remember when? Well, no, let's check this out. When LeBron James the first time went from Cleveland to Miami back in 2010, people burned his jerseys, right? And the press was there. Why are you burning his jersey? Well, we don't really mind that he went to Miami. It's the way he did it. No, it's that he did it. No man or woman in the history of relationships have ever have, have ever said, you know what? My boyfriend or girlfriend of four years just dumped me, right? Unceremoniously. But you want to know something? I like the way he or she handled that. So I'm not going to have any ill feelings about that. No, it's not how you did it. It's that you did it. You're going to be the bad guy, bro. She's going to run a smear campaign. She's going to call you gutless. She's going to tell you that you're not a man. She's going to, listen, she's going to, she's going to launch an all out assault to try to shame you into getting back with her don't listen don't you believe it because i'm gonna tell you one thing at 37 years old instead of fucking 29 year olds you're gonna be fucking 19 and 20 year olds and you're gonna you're gonna thank your lucky stars every day that you called into this show on saturday september 15 2018 congratulations we just saved your life that's the greatest plug i've ever heard for red man group that's that's <laughs> okay so so on that note since we're on such a great high in the description below guys if you're watching this you want to support these men doing this work there's social links there's links to patreon there's links to their blogs their books go there um that's where you can connect with them on a more deep basis but uh yeah as somebody else also pointed in the comments uh this episode just saved this guy's life 